And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Siren Funsmith gonna be our first deck today. It's Meme Tier Monday. We're gonna be having some fun and we're gonna be playing some really cool decks. Our first one here is gonna be built around Funsmith. All of our spells and skills deal one extra damage with this five mana two, three in play. We're gonna be combining that with the Dreadway that doubles all damage from our skill spells and allies. And so we're gonna to try to have um, a bunch of damage sources deal extra damage with Funsmith, double the damage with the Dreadway, and also the Siren. Whenever we're attacking, our spells and skills will deal one extra damage. So if we have like a Funsmith and a Siren in play while we're attacking, we're dealing two extra damage. You know, maybe if we have a Dreadway in play also, then, then it gets doubled after that. So lots and lots of damage while we're attacking. So we want to be able to do damage to them, of course, while we're attacking in Misfortune is you know one of the best ways with just its attack ability um, also we have the crack shot corsairs attack skill i guess uh, that would go on the stack um, we have other uh, fast beat spells that we can play during combat while we're attacking with siren that can deal damage to them with like make it rain and get excited mystic shot you know and uh, of course um you know fun smith too would add a add point of damage on all of those Plus we have some powder kegs. Powder kegs will also add additional damage. So we have like Dreadway Deckhand and Gangplank that add powder kegs in there. So we have the opportunity to do lots and lots of damage with this deck at different times. It's a slower deck. You like we don't have like a whole lot of stuff to do early, but if we can kind of get set up and get on the board and um, not have our things die, we can just attack and then do an absurd amount of damage in one turn. So that's the goal. Let's see how it does. We're just playing it in normal today. It's memes here Monday. Um, on the docket besides this, we have Yeti Fury. We got a Battle Fury Yeti deck. Ooh, playing against Lux Leona. We have Go Get It Cygnus, where we're gonna be doing uh, that combo with Cygnus and Go Get It, and trying to give all of our stuff elusive in one turn. And uh, have you know like one turn kills with elusive. And a Unyielding Spirit give it all deck they'll be pretty sweet okay so we got one drop two drop three drop we're, we'll just keep those and um, put the riptide rex back so we don't really need that card for a while ours is the one true light punish transgressions Yeah, I could see. I mean, I think Sprayfin's gonna help because Sprayfin will help get us burn spells and stuff to keep us from dying quick. If we are struggling with dying quickly, you know, to aggro, it would probably have to be something else that's trimmed. I think. I think Sprayfin does a good job of playing defense. You got legs. Use them. What do we got? Oblivy Silander. Not bad. It's a 2-1. Two, one. Two ones can tussle with three twos. Alright, well I have to say this is the perfect <laughs> sunburst curve so far for them. I am hoping they do not have Leona. Bask in her radiant blessing. Maybe I do this. Just the powder keg make it rain. Maybe we get lucky and hit all three. Daylight warms the heart uh -huh. and lights the way. Oh, make it rain costs three mana now. Right. Oh, then I just passed the turn. I didn't even attack. I just I, I clicked like this button because that thing was on my screen to like get that off of my screen, but I, I obviously wanted to attack still. Oh, I <laughs> just kind of forgot about Unyielding Spirit costing cost some more mana. Whoops. Scorching light! Witness glory! Hey, 
You gotta think that they're planning on playing, like, uh, Pale Cascade. Clear off. And stuff like that. Hmm. Well, could have been better, because, you know, we did hit the Nexus. I wanted just to hit three units. I'm surprised that you know we haven't found you know like we mulliganed the Riptide Rex and we really haven't found the top end. I am surprised about that. We got lots of good stuff to draw into. Sprayfin, the Siren, Riptide Rex, Dreadway, Gangplank. <laughs> On Mobilytics, Funsmith is listed under the spells, not the followers. That's weird. I'm just gonna pass. I'm basically planning on using, like, Powder Keg, Get Excited, going upstairs. Okay. But I wanted to see if... I didn't want to just do that immediately. I wanted to see if we drew like a Funsmith or a Dreadway or something like that. I didn't want them to just be able to challenge. Um, challenge Powder Keg immediately. Virtue guides me. I need need just a little bit more mana. I guess I guess if I would have fired off the get excited here, you know, we could have had lethal with the siren. How do I want to do this? Set the course. If I had two more mana, I could attack, double get excited them during combat so they don't get get the life from uh, Radiant Guardian first. Let the light guide you. I wish I could attack with the powder keg and then you know like they block it block it and I get excited them. It just doesn't make sense to attack with anything though. Unfortunately. Uh That's a killer. Welcome aboard, miss. Oh, excuse the mess. Banish me! Stay back. Am I discarding Misfortune or Get Excited? I'm not sure which one of these to discard. I guess it's the Get Excited. So if I attack out, they kill the scout, they kill, like, Petty Officer, and we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage to them and put them down to 8, but I do, like, no damage to those things. Yeah, let's do it. This is my, choice. my best draw is probably the Dreadway. Do your worst. Man, facing a start, you know, like, our deck's just, you know, a Nexus damage burn deck. So facing the star shaping plus um, Radiant Guardian deck <laughs> right, out, right out of the gate. And they had all the Solari cards that are really good blockers, turn one, turn two. Oh, it's announced tomorrow? Already? No prey. Captain's orders. 
All right, so Funsmith, all of our things do one extra damage, so this is doing two. This is doing two. So that's four. We have Mystic Shot that does three, so that's seven. So I just need them to not be able to heal their Nexus and take one of the damage of these. Oh, oh, you were joking how Mobiletics was predicting the next patch, right? Because because I said that uh, Funsmith was a spell. So that makes both of these things only do one damage. Because uh, because this is going to die before these do, so that's... So let's see, I can still do three to them here, so that will put them down to three. Um... Do I have any... I mean, the only card in my deck that does three damage is Get Excited, but we'd have to be able to discard something also. Yeah, that was that was the that was the card right there, Judgment. That was the card. If I didn't attack with the Funsmith... I mean, obviously, like, I think it's worth it to attack with both of those, because, like, attacking with everything played around Concerted Strike. But if I didn't attack with the Funsmith, then we would have dealt one extra... You know, two extra damage with these things. You know, obviously hindsight. But, you know, like, so they could be at one instead of at three. And then if they're at one, then we have Mystic Shot as an out. Which we didn't draw. It's not easy for the burn deck to get through Radiant Guardian. We got through that. It was a close game. So we have another deck. We'll keep one Gangplank. We have another deck that's going to be playing Star Shaping, unfortunately. I didn't know I could make these things turn. Y'all know that? Let's click on those. Can I change their song for them? No. He said, uh, Black Magic says, I could see Funsmith getting a plus one health buff. She's such a fun and interactive card. Same, she, she sees no play. Yeah, I definitely think a plus one health buff would be a good thing too. Because I think it's very similar to like Neverglade Collector, right? Neverglade Collector being the five mana two four that has that ability, I think that it would make a lot of sense to have um, to have Funsmith also be a 5 mana 2-4. Bask in her radiant blessing. That's pretty fair. Getting three Mystic Shots. Pretty fair. Need a hand, little star. Every way is a path. Bark Beast. This Spring Guardian is very overrated in this deck. Don't think it's that good. Yeah, PNZ, PNZ as a region does need buffs. PNZ and Ionia. Ionia has just been hit so hard with nerfs, nerf after nerf after nerf, while <clears throat> all of the other regions are getting a little bit more and more. So this is most likely, um, like the only reason to attack here is Pale Cascade. Do I, I think I just let that happen. Like I think I, so like Pale Cascade is gonna trade with something. It's basically, do I want them to be able to use Pale Cascade there or on my island navigator next turn? Right, like, my plan is, like, Misfortune, and then attack. Because the thing is, is now they can't... They can play 5-mana champion still, but they cannot play 5-mana champion and... Like, this Star Spring and stuff for the my Misfortune. I do not want to see Vi, right? Like, out of everything, like, Vi... Vi would make my life a lot worse. That's the one card I do not want to see this turn. I'll shoot the wings off a wasp. Uh, 
Good. And that is not Vi. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. Hold still now. Bless is motion. So they're at 11. If I if I attack out, they block misfortune. They take Always forward. So like this attack they're taking 4 if they don't block anyway. If I I can basically I can guarantee that it's 5 if I attack out with everything and trade misfortune away. That's not worth it. Captain's orders. We'll no, misfortune's too valuable. I again don't want to see Vi though, right? Cuz Vi challenges misfortune and I don't like that. Mwah. I kind of assume they would have played Vi if they had it last turn, though. Instead of just... Get excited. Boo. Hell of a day. Where are you at, Gangplank? Two out of five? The ocean charts our course. Ooh. Fleet Feather Tracker. Unfortunately, I don't have misfortune Out anymore. You've made your path. Nah, not worth it. Alright, taking out a blocker. I can just go immediately to attacks and hit him for six. And then they have priority and then I play Gangplank and attack again. Oh man. This is our way. It is diff. Yeah. Set the course. That's just the best play. Boonker rookie. Yeah, I, I just don't think Boonker rookie is very strong. I don't. I don't. Um, you know, it doesn't survive very often. I know it can do the two damage. And you know, like that damage can be added up with other stuff. But there's there's not a single card in the deck that I think that Boonker rookie is better than or like like you know I I don't really want it over anything that's in the deck. You know, like, I don't want it over Petty Officer, for example. Petty Officer's been good. Always forward. Well, that was a good play by them, having removal spell and a blocker. You know, I was thinking, like, that, you know, like, they'd have to either play, like, play a blocker or play a removal spell. So having burst speed removal and blocker... That made, you know, my playing the Siren worse. But... One mana now? I think they're just dead now. Mega Rain, like, won us this game. Mega Rain's very good. With all of the pow- Like, when you're playing Funsmith and Siren and all the Powder Kegs... Mega Rain's amazing. Yeah, that's that's basically the problem with Bunker Rookie is it just doesn't trade with anything. That's the problem with that. All right, so we're, no champion for Elior Noxus. We're gonna keep the Petty Officer Make It Rain combo. I guess I probably want Spray Thin for turn four. A lot of damage. So we got Mystic Shot right now to save three life. Or I wait till next turn. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. Alright, let's hit. Let's hit the first two. 
First two. Ow. Worst possible make a rain. <laughs> the actual worst possible make a rain. Um, hitting Ruthless Raider plus Crimson was also the worst possible. So there, there was two worst possibles. <clears throat> Basically missing those. You know, not hitting those two. So we we had pretty good odds that we were going to get the worst possible. I don't carry change. I am scared of Elixir of Iron and Troll Chant as far as Mystic Shot, the Ruthless Raider, is concerned. So that's what Curator created. Remember the objectives. Good. It's nothing personal. Okay, still at 12. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Parley. Please let this work. Yay. No troll chant. Or Elixir of Iron. That's good. Probably going to need to get excited one of these things. Don't really want to. Gosh, there's so many of them. I need an avalanche. I guess I may have to discard Dreadway. Not and ready. Again, not what I want to do. All right, Funsmith being a 2-3 can block the 2-2. Two -two. And stay alive. But Sprayfin could draw us Make It Rain, which could clear out a bunch of stuff. Keep up, keep up. Let's look for Make It Rain. Okay. I'm out of there, so hopefully RNG helps us out. You can't do this. Okay, took out two of the three. We'll take it. No, Bloodsworn Pledge. What? Ugh. Oh, killer. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. Killer. Blood, Bloodsworn Pledge, pretty genius against me. For the Empire. All right, so if I play the Siren, I only get to do one Get Excited. So that means we're going down to three. I can play Crackshot Corsair and, you know, discard both of these. Set the course. I think we're going down to three. At best. Um, well. Oh, I should have killed the 5-2. I just killed the thing with the most health, but that thing's a 7 power overwhelm. Yeah, why didn't I kill the 5-2? Or so, let's see. So that would have been... Yeah, so I could have saved two lives. So I could have gone to one. Why didn't I kill the 5-2? I... I don't know. Thought we had him with that Mega Rain, but... Nice Bloodsworn Pledge. I know our deck is a Funsmith deck, but I think that we have to mulligan it against um, another aggressive deck. Oh, uh, being a, 
a five drop. The dead don't need riches. Be nothing left when I'm done. Love to make a rain draw. Um, so I, I do not want to attack because then that blows up the powder keg. So I do not want to attack and blow up the powder keg. Let's get to it. Alright. Looking for trouble? It found you. That's another Nexus damage for Gangplank. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. I'll buy you some time. Then, Captain's orders. Say your farewells. Add this to your bill. This is a good block with the Black Market Merchant. Never stop shooting. Not a block that necessarily everybody would do. That was a good block. I probably gave that away a little bit by attacking with the Misfortune. Uh, Legion Grenadier is better than Solari Shield Bearer. Yeah, awesome. It's pretty good. Who says I don't share? I feel like our deck is missing. Um, I think our deck is missing Twisted Fate. Like we're playing Gangplank because we're playing Dreadway. But Twisted Fate would probably be a lot better for our deck. You know, like when we can add. Like the powder kegs and funsmith and stuff like that. Add that to red card. That sounds really good. Best hope they'll do, mate. Every wave is a path. Let them bleed out. Yeah, so maybe it should be Twisted Fate Misfortune and, and just not play Dreadway Gangplank. And then, yeah, you can play some some Salvage. I'll cut my name into you. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. Alright, so Riptide Rex does do an extra damage with Funsmith. Like, all the cannon barrages do extra damage. Um, I hope they don't have warning shot Riptide Rex. I really hope not. Yep, so each one of these deal three to the unit, or if they're dead at Kron, deal two to you. So there we go, we got Fun Smith Riptide Rex combo. Put them down to two, wipe their board. Gotta go with the flow. Alright, Fun Smith, I want you to do the lethal damage. Okay, GG's. They didn't let Funsmith do the lethal damage, but... Two and two. Yeah, I could see playing a little Citrus Courier in here.
Vladimir Darius. I'm expecting Vladimir Darius to be to be an aggressive deck, so I think that the parlay Mystic Shot should be pretty good. Get excited, it's like a good like late game finish finish the game kind of thing. I don't really want it right away. Uh, Cause you know I don't want to discard cards right away. It's just blood, darling. If they mattered, I'd let them live. Well, that'd be nice of you. Alright, so we have to do damage on uh, uh, this turn, as far as leveling out Gangplank is concerned. This turn also, so that's two out of five. Two out of five for Gangplank. Get in there. Uh, no, we didn't play all five games against Aggro. We did play against Heimerdinger Vi, and our first two games were not against Aggro. These last three have been. We played against Heimerdinger. We played against two star shaping decks with Heimer Vi, and um. I rarely forget. We also played against a deck with Radiant, you know, like our first loss was a close one, but it was against uh, Radiant Guardian and Star Shaping, and they had a bunch of Nexus healing like that, and we almost killed them, but they had the Judgment I'd never keep my guests waiting. that got me. Let them bleed out. I've got us covered. Such a pretty thing. Whoa. That's a surprise. So I could go after killing Vladimir. I probably shouldn't. I should probably just go for their Nexus. So they're at 7. I have all these things that can do Nexus damage, and I can play a Fun Smith next turn and have them increase the damage. I have the name. I need the reputation. Mm, such rich blood. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. How close are you to leveling up? Not very. Okay, good. Dill Nexus damage. Is that all? I love a taste of the action. Clear off. Yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking transfusion. I want to get that out of their hand. I didn't want them to use transfusion on, uh, you know, on the gangplank one and then two. I didn't want them to have transfusion to save their Vladimir here. That should do two damage to Vlad. Oh, they had a, they had another transfusion. I thought they only had one mana. I guess I didn't pay close enough attention. I thought they only had one mana. Well, that was just dumb. I should have just done the two damage upstairs with, with me having Mystic Shot in hand. I never we should still be good. I'm going to Mystic Shot them. That will level up Gangplank. We'll get Gangplank and Crack Shot Corsair abilities. We should still be just fine. Two and each one of these skills does two damage. Such a pretty thing. There we go. GG's. Alright, three and two. That's what our deck's about. Burning them down. Alright, so pretty cool deck here. You know, the... The Dreadway Gangplank lets you play a lot 
longer games. So we did see those last two games. Gangplank was really key in both of those last two games. Dealt a lot of damage just being 5-5 Overwhelm um, and doing different stuff. So, like, Gangplank's good for sure. But it does kind of feel like we're missing um, Twisted Fate in here with Funsmith, with, you know, red card ability and everything. So another take, if we wanted to... Um, so, you know, like this, this works out pretty well. Now, Dreadway is going to be a lot better against your slower decks, right? Like your shadow, like your, you know, basically <clears throat> one thing that we didn't play against at all was the Shadow Isles control decks. And those Shadow Isles control decks that, that are playing all of, you know, like the Grass, the Undying and Withering Whale and Vile Feast and all that kind of stuff. They play a long game and they have a bunch of Nexus healing. So with that combination, you need to be able to do a, you know, like a whole bunch more Nexus damage and also be able to have a very good late game. And that's something that the Dreadway can do. It can, um, you know, doubling all the damage of everything can just make, you know, makes uh, just a normal Mystic Shot four damage, you know, for example, a Get Excited six damage. But if you have like a Funsmith in play also, and then you play a Dreadway, now your Mystic Shot's doing six damage or your uh, Get Excited's doing eight damage, you know, that kind of stuff. So that, that obviously can kill people very quickly. Um, plus it's, you know, card draw because it does draw you a Gangplank. So it, it, it's that too. So it really works out great in those kind of matchups. We didn't face those today. Um, so another another thing you, we could do... See, like, I think I think this, this build works perfectly fine. Another thing we can do, though, if you want to play Twisted Fate, if you want to do Twisted Fate with Funsmith, so we would take out Gangplank, take out the Dreadway... Probably take out Island Navigator then, which I know that's unfortunate for misfortune, but I just don't want to. I just don't think you want um, nine four mana units. So you get Twisted Fate, and you you would want some Scouts for misfortune. So you know, like these are our other options. Um, so I probably want like so maybe like a Razor Scale Hunter, and then a citrus courier so you, know, you kind of have like those kind of things that your top end your cit citrus courier razor scale hunter to be able to to do a little bit more rallying and then with playing um twisted fate and and with us taking out the top end right with taking out the nine drop and stuff like that we probably want some salvages because we want to be able to to draw and have you know just have more cards more cards help our get excited and just, you know, help every, everything out. So we'd probably just play the salvages in there then too. So that's another, like, little option that you could do um, if you want to go with the same kind of Funsmith deck and lots of damage, and if you want to play Twisted Fate over Gangplank. Um, just switching out those eight cards. All right, but that's what we got. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Siren Funsmith, and I'll see you for the next video.